everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad screen as the monitor for a Mac mini. And the reason I like doing this is I love iPads. They're great. They have a great monitor built into them. I add a keyboard, powerful system. The only problem that I have with the iPad is that they're not a full operating system. They're an iOS operating system, which is very powerful. And there are apps for tons and tons of things. But a lot of times I'll need to do things like run a virtual machine or maybe a Windows machine a Linux machine as a VM. Maybe I need to use a program that requires an actual full operating system like the Mac OS. For myself, that means I'm going to use a Mac mini. Mac minis are great because they're inexpensive relative to a full Mac desktop. They are portable. I can carry this in a backpack quite easy, but I do have to add a few things to the Mac mini to get that functionality. I have to add a mouse. No big deal. That's pretty small. I have to add a keyboard. Little foldable Bluetooth keyboard is an easy option and I'll link to those down below as well. But if I want to, I can actually use my iPad as the monitor for the Mac mini. I don't really want to carry a large monitor around with me and even some of the portable monitors, you know, if I'm using my iPad anyways, why not just use that as my portable monitor? So let's take a look at how I can use my iPad as the monitor for a Mac mini so that I can have a portable stack in my backpack to have a full operating system, run a virtual machine Windows, run a virtual machine Linux, run the Mac OS and have my iPad for iOS 7 all in one portable little block. So to be very clear, when I'm talking about a portable system, I'm not talking about a battery system. So we're gonna actually plug this into the wall. So you'll need the power cord that came with your Mac mini. Then of course you'll need to get the video out. So I have a short HDMI cable that I'm going to plug in. So we have our power and we have our HDMI cable here. The key to getting it onto your iPad is that we want to have video input into the iPad. So I'm going to take this adapter here and there'll be links for everything down below. And I'm going to use this HDMI input adapter, which is a very inexpensive adapter. And I can either connect to a USB port or I can connect to a USB-C port. This iPad Pro has a USB-C port. I could, if I want, get a little adapter and go into the adapter and then put that into the USB-C port. And that would leave me some space to put other devices on there. Or I could just directly connect into the USB-C port. Then what I'll do is connect my HDMI cable here. And now what I'm going to do is on my iPad, I'm going to launch an application called Camo Studio. I've made some other videos on Camo Studio using it with a Nintendo Switch, for example, or with a Raspberry Pi. Today we're going to use it with a Mac Mini. So the app that I'm going to use to receive the video signal from my Mac Mini is called Camo Studio. It's a free app by Reincubate and it's a great app. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go in to open the app and you'll notice right now that I'm seeing a test pattern on the screen. That's normally you'll see your camera. So you'll see your front or rear facing camera. But if you go into the video inputs and you choose to go to an external video source and then you choose as your device the capture card, you're now going to be able to bring in anything that you've connected through the capture card that you've put on your, your Mac mini here. So now I'm going to turn on the Mac mini and you're going to see the boot screen, which is fantastic. You'll see it boot just like a regular computer onto a regular Mac computer onto a screen. Now would be a good time to hit the like button if this video is useful for you. It really does help this channel and I'm very grateful for it. If we have a look, you can see that I have the entire screen here. I'm going to use an Apple trackpad. You could use a mouse, whatever preferred pointing device you want. And then I like to use this little Bluetooth keyboard that I can carry with me. I think I already mentioned I'll put links for all that down below. So you can see that my cursor is moving on the screen. I can go in, I'll put in my super secret password. So now you can see I've put in my super secret password. It's booting into the Mac OS. I can even go and say, let's make it, you know, take up more screen real estate here. And I can also go back. I can just sweep from the bottom. I can still go back and do things on my iPad. So I could go into the Kindle or whatever I want to and just come back to the application to my machine. Now, the cool thing here is because this is Mac OS, it's, it's the Mac mini. I'm just looking at the screen for the Mac mini. I can actually go in here and do things like run parallels to run Windows or Linux on this Mac. 
And if you want to see videos on that, check out some of the videos uh, here on the channel where I show you how to run Windows on a Mac computer, how to run Linux on a Mac computer using Parallels Desktop. And there we have it. We have a scenario where I can carry my iPad with me. I can do work on the bus, on the plane, wherever I'm portable because it does have the battery. But wherever I get to my destination, I can have a full but portable operating system. I just have to plug it into a wall outlet. So it's a great solution. I hope this was interesting for you. Check out some other videos. If you like tips like this, especially tips on how we can use technology to learn and teach more effectively, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and check out some other videos. See you in the next video. Take care.